What's going on, Ebony Afro World? We are back again with another Ebony Afro restaurant review. This time we are reviewing a restaurant in Fayetteville, North Carolina. The name of this restaurant is Uptown's Chicken and Waffles. So just like any other place that you've probably heard, this is a chicken uh, chicken <laughs> waffles place. And the address is... <laughs> 1707 <laughs> Owen Drive, Fayetteville, North Carolina, 28304. Once again, the address to Uptown Chicken and Waffles. 1707 Owen Drive, Fayetteville, North Carolina, 28304. Again, that is 1707 Owen Drive. Fayetteville, North Carolina, 28304, folks. So, we decided to check out this chicken and waffles place. Um, what you, would you search for to get this place? Um, black-owned businesses in North Carolina. Okay. So, you search for a black-owned business in North Carolina, in particular, Fayetteville, North Carolina, and we found Uptown's Chicken and Waffles. Yes. Uh, so we went out to Uptown's Chicken and Waffles. Uh, it looks like Uptown's is actually uh, attached to what looks kind of almost like a hotel almost. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's across the street from, uh, oh, it, it's actually located in Ramada Plaza. Mm -hmm. um, and across the street uh, from a, a, another kind of shopping complex. Um, there's some other things there. Mm -hmm. um, so one of the first things that we saw when we pulled into the parking for Uptowns is that parking was packed. And so part of that could be a combination of the other businesses that are in the area. Uh, but we ended up finding parking that was closer to, uh, I believe it was the fire department. So kind of uh, closer to the, the end of the building, we were able to find a parking spot, fortunately came out of the car, we walked up to Uptowns. Uh, it's got a great uh, big Uptown sign. Um, the building itself, it's it's okay looking. It's not like, um, you know, this big fancy building or a, a building all by itself. Like I said, it's kind of affixed to some other establishments there. Um, there is an arrow that'll tell you where the entrance is. And then once you go into um, Uptowns, you open up the door, uh, to your left, you're gonna see the symbol of the restaurant, um, which is a black chicken, and behind the black chicken is a waffle. Yeah, folks, so when we arrived, it was actually packed. Um, so all those cars that we saw in the parking lot, I think most of those were Uptowns business. Um, they were from Uptown's business. So I definitely think this is a spot in Fayetteville to see and stop and visit and try out the food when you get a chance. Now, I had what's known as the Uptown. So this is the main thing. Um, people go to the famous dish and it's the chicken and waffles of course it comes with four golden fried chicken wings and your choice of a buttermilk waffle with one sweet add-on so i ended up getting the classic waffle and having the maple pecan as my sweet add-on um and that is the butter okay um what did you have nate so i got the chase so the chase um as you can see here on the menu uh, it's two juicy chicken legs uh, and, of course, your choice of uh, a buttermilk waffle and a sweet add-on. So in my case, I got the chase with a sweet potato waffle and I picked bourbon butter. Mm, he got the sweet potato waffle and I didn't even get to try it, y'all. I didn't even, I didn't bother him. I said, okay, he's going to enjoy his food without me, you know, tasting and dabbling in his food. But... It looked delicious. His food looked, looked, looked delicious, and so did mine. Um, yeah, you got anything? Yeah, so one of the things that, you know, you'll notice when you walk into the, the restaurant, um, as soon as you walk in, there's a kind of a long hallway, 
and alongside that hallway are a series of chairs for any type of overflow waiting area. Once you get past that area, you're actually in the restaurant itself and you'll be greeted by uh, some waitresses. Um, all of the staff that I saw was black. <clears throat> Did you say that? No, I wouldn't say that. I actually saw one or two white waitresses there, but majority of the staff was okay. black. Um, the people in the bar uh, serving were black. Um, the waitresses, mostly black. The guys in the kitchen, mostly black. I saw like maybe one white waitress, maybe two. Mm -hmm. um, and then the hostess, they were black. Um, the people who were directing the to-go traffic were black. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, mostly black workers, employees. Yeah. yeah. So you'll be greeted. Um, once you're greeted, if, if, you know, if there is some type of wait, they will ask you for uh, a phone number and your party's name or your name. And then... Uh, once you uh, submit that information to them, you'll get a text on your phone. And it'll basically say, hey, you know, welcome to um, Uptown's Chicken and Waffles. Uh, thank you for, you know, waiting. And we're going to send you a text or give you a call when um, your table is ready. Um, so in our case, we had about uh, we were told about a 30 minute wait. Um, did you, did we experience that 30 minute wait before we went to a table? No, I think it was more so like 10 to 15 minutes act in actual time right. because it was so quick. We sat down, we talked for a couple minutes and then before we knew it, they were calling your name, Nick. And, um, <laughs> it was nice, a nice experience. I will say that the chicken was very juicy. It wasn't over fried. It was well seasoned. Um, and, uh, you had the sweet potato waffle. How'd you like that compared to a classic waffle? Yeah. I mean, I, I really enjoyed it. Um, you know, I, I haven't really been to a whole lot of chicken and waffles places, uh, been a couple times probably in my life, but, um, going there, it was really good. Like it was really, really good. Um, the food, like the waffle wasn't like hard and crispy like it was it was just like the perfect consistency it wasn't undercooked or anything um it was soft uh had great flavor naturally so without any um any sauce or or any other type of topping uh it worked really really well um the chicken was very good um it was very moist um, and flavorful, fresh, hot. Um, and honestly, I would compare the chicken to, I mean, pretty much any, you know, I'd say it's pretty much like probably the best fried chicken I've tasted outside of like, you know, your KFCs and all that type of stuff. And usually what makes those chickens and, and Popeyes Usually what makes those chicken like so good is like just kind of the the infusion of seasonings in the skin. But like this chicken to me was just really good just by itself. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Oh, it definitely was. <clears throat> definitely was really good by itself. Like I could have sat there and ate just chicken wings and been happy. Yeah. From them. Um, but what's really cool about this restaurant is that um, it's actually a two-in-one. So um, it's both a restaurant, a bar, and an entertainment place. So um, on certain nights throughout the month, I did notice that sometimes they have comedians or um, artists come perform. And I think that's something that would really make it a hot spot as well. Yeah, for sure. Um, that's one of the things that you're going to notice um, you know, when you come in the restaurant in the center, there is uh, a giant bar and there's a bartender who's there active all the time uh, and tending to people's uh, drink needs. And along the walls of the establishment, there are a few uh, televisions <clears throat> and projections or, or projectors, um, projector screens. 
Uh, there's a lot of uh, pictures of famous individuals. Who were some of the people you saw? Patti LaBelle, Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, um, <clears throat> and Anita Baker, I believe. So it was a couple of um, main figures that are movers and shakers in our Ebony Afro community, for sure. Yeah. Um, you know, another thing that I'd, I'd like to say is that the staff was very friendly. Um, from the moment that we walked in, we were greeted well. Uh, we, we had a great experience. Um, just people who were just, you know, doing a great job, doing their job. Um, uh, smiling faces, uh, good, good greets. Our waitress was fantastic. Uh, she checked on us thoroughly, um, you know, everything. I mean, it was just a, a great overall experience. And as many of you already know, is that, you know, kind of one of the biggest determining uh, factors in terms of your dining experience actually comes about from the interaction that you have with people sometimes more than the actual food. Um, because, you know, you can go to an establishment and the food could be amazing. Um, but if you have poor service um, and you have a situation where you're waiting three hours or your waiter or waitress is not being attentive to your table or, you know, if there's just kind of like uh, weird pricing things or what's on the menu is not there or, you know, stuff like that, those things can really deter your experience. So. Uh, overall, I would say that was a fantastic experience. I would definitely recommend it. Um, you know, and you know, we spoke about the the wait staff and all the staff at the restaurant. And overall, the demographics, I would say, probably ninety eight percent of everyone that we saw at the restaurant was black. Mm -hmm. It's probably about two percent who were maybe Hispanic uh, or white mm -hmm. uh, at that restaurant. So it's, it's a pretty black environment overall. Um, so if that's something that you're looking to be a part of, to experience, I would definitely say check out Uptown's Chicken and Waffles. For sure. And that's all we have for you guys today. All right. There you go. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Remember to like and comment. We want to hear you down below. Um, what are your thoughts on this um, establishment? Will you go and visit? Take some time if you're ever passing through or maybe visiting Fayetteville to check out Uptown's Chicken and Waffles. Uh, we have I Am Ebony Afro on all platforms. And so please follow us. Remember to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We're also on Rumble now, so check that out as well. Um, and we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>